Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Lauren from Hey Babe, Watch This. As you can probably tell from the um, title of this video, we're no longer living in a tiny airstream and traveling around North America. We actually decided to settle down and we are homesteading now. Um, so, you can see from my surroundings, uh, we are now located near Shenandoah National Park in Virginia um, on six and a half acres. And we are uh, trying to grow as much food as possible. We're gonna be keeping some, some chickens and bees, but no other uh, animals besides that. And so I wanted to take a second to show you guys around a little bit and then um, tell you about the transition. So the transition actually happened about a year ago. It's been a year now that we've lived on this property. And we kind of stopped making videos because all of our previous videos were about travel. Um, and we just didn't really know how to, I don't know, transition the schedule or, or sorry, transition the channel or if we wanted to keep up with it. But then recently we went back and we watched a lot of um, our old videos and we're now just so happy that we have them. We, it's so great to look back and watch them. We want to share them with our children one day. And we love sharing updates with family and friends who live all over the country. So we just enjoy doing it. So we're going to keep doing it and we're going to cover our farm projects. Um, and the reason that we decided to move out here uh, to Virginia is because the year of travel in the RV taught us that we wanted to be in nature. Um, it also taught us that family was important to us. Uh, we had considered settling out in Colorado, um, but uh, Daniel's family is already pretty scattered. Um, they live kind of all over the country and my family was a little bit more centrally located here and probably the biggest reason is it allowed Daniel to continue at his job. Um, he's been with his company for a long time and loves it there and they treat him great and you know he was able to work remote and it, he just yeah so it worked out for us to come back to Virginia where he could work at one of his sub company satellite offices and I had um, clients and stuff in the DCR as well so they just worked for us to be here and we're super happy. Um, it's a much more secluded lifestyle than it was when we lived in Falls Church, but we just love it. So I just want to show you a couple um, aspects here. As you can tell, we're pretty much surrounded by woods and we love it. Uh, it gets really dark out here at night um, and it's quiet. And that took me a little bit get, to get used to, but I'll just show you a couple of features behind me. You can see our little um, blue, um, that's our chicken coop. That's Chicken Coop 2.0. We had a different one last year, but unfortunately we did um, lose our flock um, with a predator incident. So this year we're doing extra reinforcements. Uh, it's not ready yet. We, we built the coop, but we're still gonna put an outdoor protective fencing as well as an electric fencing around it and um, reinforce like the bottom so that predators can't dig under. So that's gonna be there. Um, you can see over here, we also have like um, part of our garden. So we've got a compost area and then four beds. Um, one of the beds already has our garlic coming up and I'm gonna be putting some of our direct sow crops in there, but the others we need to get some soil to put into them. This soil here is super rocky, not great, so we're gonna have to uh, truck that soil in. Uh, this area over here is likely where the bees are gonna go. Um, we are currently in our beekeeping class, and so we'll be getting bees on Easter Sunday, and um, we'll definitely do some videos about that. I, I gotta tell you, it is a fascinating subject. I've, I've enjoyed the class. Each session is two hours, and it just goes by so fast because it's so interesting. Um, it's great to learn about how vital bees are, uh, so we've got a couple of fruit trees down here, um, apple and cherry. As a, as a newbies, you can see those over by the burn barrel. As a newbies, we didn't actually know that uh, you had to have, there's different sexes of apple trees and you have to have multiple for them to pollinate. So we'll be getting a few more. The cherry tree is actually self-pollinating, so we're good there. And then here's our other beds. And this bed is more established. We grew everything in here last year and behind that you can see the red chairs for our fire ring and fire circle and that's a favorite spot for sure at all times of the year but here you can see our four beds we have some trellises where we grew things like cucumbers and beans last year i've got a couple cold frames uh on the far bed um that we'll probably put some of our frost hardy crops in fairly soon and then the far end of the bed you can't tell anymore but that's where we grew our corn 
we'll be direct planting that in a I don't know a month or so and we've got some um, we've got four berry bushes as well so we're working hard to get this all set up and then down here are some um, I grew some herbs and containers and um, there's more but you can't see them in the frame but I grew herbs for teas and um, recipes so it's all coming together there's tons more projects so stay tuned coming up we're gonna have a video on um, getting our chicks they're coming tomorrow our um, this will be our second time brooding chicks so we'll talk about that well I'm also gonna show you guys all of our seeds that we've already started and how we start our seeds indoors in the basement we're gonna do videos on getting our bees um, finishing our coop all sorts of stuff so just all things like kind of homesteading and nature and since we're so close to the park, we're also doing um, the 105 miles of the Appalachian Trail that runs through the Shenandoah National Park, and we're doing that with my dad. So we have, still have a lot of really good stuff coming up, and if you're following us on Instagram, you probably saw a lot of our IGTV videos um, from our recent trip um, to the Alps, um, Switzerland, Italy, and France. So we're still doing a lot of fun stuff. And I hope you'll continue to join along and we're just enjoying it. So I look forward to seeing you guys on here soon. And uh, yeah, drop me a comment or something. I'd love to connect with other folks doing similar things. Have a great day, everybody.